Hello viewers, welcome to the video lecture series of job role hand embroider for class 10 unit 2 session 1. We learn closed herringbone stitch and laced herringbone stitch. In hand embroidery, the herringbone stitch is done along parallel lines to create a decorative border or edge. Closed herringbone stitch is a variation of herringbone stitch. The stitch is worked very close together to form a line of cross stitches. It is also known as double back stitch. This stitch is worked from left to right side between two parallel lines. Laced herringbone is also a variation of herringbone stitch because the stitch requires the base of herringbone stitch around which another contrasting or same color thread is laced. It is highly decorative stitch and makes a good stitch for borders. Before starting with the stitch, let us first look at all the material required. Design on butter paper, we need carbon paper, pen, pencil, scissor, embroidery frame or hoop, embroidery thread or floss, needle, fabric, starch free and well ironed. Once we have all the material, let us start with the embroidery. Step 1 is tracing the design. For tracing the design, keep the fabric on the flat surface. Now, we will keep the carbon wrong side down and then we will keep the design on it and start tracing the design. You will trace all the petals of the flower or all the section of the design. Our design is now traced on the fabric. Now we will fix the fabric on the frame. For fixing the fabric on the embroidery frame, first place this smaller ring at the bottom, then put the fabric over it and then the upper frame. So now the fabric is fixed on the embroidery frame. Now threading the needle. For threading the needle, take three strands of embroidery thread and not at the end of the thread. Now let us start doing the closed herringbone stitch. For making the closed herringbone, we will bring the needle up from 1 and then down 2 and up again from 3 which is very close to 1. Then on the another line down and then again up. Now on the upper line again down and up very close to the previous stitch. Similarly again in the lower line of the design down and you have to maintain the slant and the distance should be very close. We'll repeat these stitches till the design is. You need to understand the shape of the design and maintain the shape and fill it. Yes. Again, we will move to another leaf of the design. So, we have to repeat this process for every section of the design. Keep the stitches similar to have best effect of the embroidery on the design. So, this is closed herringbone because all the stitches are kept very close to each other until the cut design is complete. Here I have taken six strands of thread for the flower to make it more guff. The stitch is same but the effect will be little different. Similarly you can repeat for all the petals of the to make lace herringbone stitch, first make a line of herringbone stitch for the base. So as we have done previously, we will make the herringbone stitch first. 
This is herringbone stitch, different from closed herringbone stitch. Here we keep distance between the two stitches, whereas in this we just make very close to each other. So the, for lace herringbone stitch, we need to make base herringbone stitch. We need to maintain the slants for better results. This is herringbone stitch we have done. Now for lacing it, we'll take contrast thread. You can use similar color thread also. I'm taking six strands of thread. We have made this herringbone stitch. Now for making it laced herringbone stitch, we are doing with the another thread. Start from the center and take this thread above this and we are trying to encircle the cross stitch which we had made and then above it, above this thread, third one and then below. So this way we have encircled the Stitch. Now we'll again do about this, below this, then about this one. So this way we have encircled the this cross. Again repeating about this one, below this one. Keep this loose about this one and this way, and then we will stretch it. So we have encircled this cross. Similarly, we'll do for the whole row. Repeating, repeat this process again and again. Now remove the fabric from the hoop by loosening the screw and ironing to remove the marks of the hoop. With this, our embroidery design is ready and I have completed a sample. You can see the front side and the back side of the design. This is herringbone, closed herringbone all the leaves and petals of the flower and the center of the flower everything is with the closed herringbone this pot is with the lace herringbone and this is stem stitch let us now summarize the steps for doing closed and laced herringbone stitch tracing the design fix, fixing the fabric on frame threading the needle closed herringbone and laced herringbone stitch formation locking and clipping the thread and removing the fabric from the hoop and ironing. This is all for this video. Keep practicing and enjoy learning. Thank you.